Whoa, what unbelievable pressure. I've never felt anything this intimidating. Pop, you have to get inside the castle. No way! I'm fighting too! Don't be stupid. You can sense that energy, can't you? Baran's aura is overwhelming. Besides, you're out of magic power. You'll be useless out here. Hey, watch it! Look after Dai! And if anything happens to us, you have to get him as far away from here as possible! All right, fine then! Don't any of you get killed! Pop! Striking a wounded from behind! How dare you! Now that I'm in my Dragonoid form, I will stop at nothing to destroy every pitiful enemy in my line of sight. Just like that of a demonic beast, this power is simply too strong for me to hold back. Wounded or not, I have no mercy to spare. But can you blame me? You reopened the scar on my heart! You brought this upon yourselves! Curse you! Go! He's too. No, he's going to wipe us all out at this rate. Even at our strongest, there's no way we could beat anything with this much power. It's overwhelming. I've never seen anything like it. He truly has the strength of a dragon and the magic power of a darkling. You've seen nothing of my power yet. I'll erase you all in an instant. This is a spell of purification. One I can only cast in this form! Doru Aura! No use! We can't move! Stop it, Baran! Don't give yourself over to violence! Your words mean nothing. Once I take the form of the Dragonoid, I cannot turn back until you've all been destroyed. Be gone! Dino. This one's the real deal. Are you the one who called for me? So who are you? I'm your father, don't be afraid. But you... you don't look like me at all. You look... like a monster. You are right, my son. This form is not human. 
It seems that you take more after your mother. I doubt you can become a Dragonoid. Now. <gasps> Remove that cloth. Get it! I see! You're not lying, are you? The only proof we need is the crest upon our foreheads, a symbol of the bond between us. While our forms may be different, we are still family. Huh? You know this, I am your father. Father? <gasps> Move! What can a piece of trash like you do? Well, nothing. I know that already. But I, I... I still have to fight. I'm the only one left here. The last one standing! If you attack me in this form, then I will respond with great brutality. And everyone but my son, every single person here, will be laid to waste. <laughs> this is your last chance. Dino may have brought forth what remains of my humanity, but it's too late. Hand him over peacefully. You're in the way, mister. Huh? I finally met my dad. But die. Huh? I'll never let you have our die. Not now, not ever, you hear me? Father or not, you can't have him. Our die, you say? That's right. Without him, Leona would be dead. And if they hadn't fought Dai, Crocodile and Yonka would still be evil. And me. If I hadn't met Dai, I'd still be running away. I'd be some coward, all talk, useless, worthless to everyone I know. <laughs> Our lives were changed by Dai. It's thanks to him that we even made it this far. He's the one who lifts us all up for him to become an enemy to humans for him to just disappear from our lives I'd rather die than let that happen then death it will have to be it's no good there isn't a single shred of humanity left inside him what do I do I've got no magic power or weapons or items all I've got is my fists isn't there anything else I can try think think if I don't act, he's gonna take Dai away! Master Avon, what would you do? How would you fight at a time like this, Master? Come on! That's right. There's still one thing that I can do. But if it works, I... What am I supposed to do? Don't worry. I'm gonna end this real quick. Uh... Hold on to that bandana, will ya? I've had it since I was five. It's kind of my trademark. But me? Why, mister? Listen. Just don't <coughs> lose it! <coughs> Feel the power of my Dragonoid form! Stop it! This is crazy! I cannot bear to watch such a pathetic suicide attack. I'll shatter him with one blow. Pop! <laughs> Try this! Face me! Cleave you in two! Ah! Ah! 
cleave you in two! Try this! This... this has happened before. I remember the feeling that came with it. The sadness. Face me! bear to watch such a pathetic suicide attack. I'll shatter him with one blow. How can your grip be so strong? You'll see. All of my life energy is being focused through my hands. I can't let you pull them out. What? You? You're not! If you use Legante, it will kill you! Uh, I know! And if my luck holds out, you'll both be blown to pieces! Just like my master! Stop it! This is crazy! You don't know if it'll work on Baron! You could die for absolutely nothing! Oh, it's gonna work! The Draconic Aura might be strong! but it can still be broken by an even more powerful energy! He even said so himself! It's an honor to make this sacrifice! With you out of the picture, there's a chance for all of humanity! So I don't think I could ask for a better reason to die! This... this has happened before. I remember... The feeling that came with it, the sadness. <laughs> Leona, Yunko, Crocodile, everyone, you'll have to take it from here and make something up for ma'am, will you? <laughs> Die. Sad look off your face, okay? It's not the last thing I want to see. Got it? <laughs> see you, pal. We've been through quite a bit. It's been fun. But my... My adventure... Ends here. <laughs> Megante!
remember. I remember it all, Bob. Because I was so weak. You, you, I'm sorry. Don't go! Bob! Has his memory returned? Perhaps, but the price was all too high. Dante's spell really had no effect on him? I might take substantial damage from a properly focused Magante. But this one's lack of experience spared me. Just as he channeled all of his life energy and detonated, he let his guard down, his grip weakened. And so in that final moment, I managed to break free of your weak friend. A meaningless death. Curse you! Baran, why you? <gasps> Kalachan, don't! Stop it! <laughs> Be gone! Enough! No more! Stop hurting my friends! It seems you really have regained your memories. Incredible. I thought I'd thoroughly erased them. If you really are my dad, why are you doing this? You've done all this damage! You've hurt and killed people! And for what?! Quiet! My mission is to destroy humanity and its allies. You are my son, understand? You will obey me. I won't! Huh? You're right that sometimes humans can be cruel. They can be selfish, they bully, and they discriminate. But I know that some of them aren't like that at all. I've seen it. Everyone is just trying to do the best they can in the times they have to live in. That's... That's who Pop was! There is no reason to remember such trash. This time, I'll erase all your memories completely. Now forget everything, Dino, and become my true son. No, I... I won't forget Pop ever again! I'll never forget him! I'm me! I'm Die! The hero! Even now you would resist your father? You ungrateful brat! You're not. You're not! You are not my dad! struck me while I was shielded by my draconic aura? Huh. Dai's crest is on his fist? How? Huh. Impossible! This can't be! Throughout thousands of years of Dragonite history, for the light of the crest to appear anywhere other than the forehead, it's never happened before. Could it be the human spirit? Is this soul's will? What? What's happening? <laughs> 
Why did the Dragon Crest appear on the boy's fist? It looks like he's figured out how to channel the energy of the crest. To break Moron's mind control spell and gain the strength necessary to damage him. He realized that the power of the crest needed to be redirected to his fist. While Dai's aura may be weaker overall, when it's focused to a single point, each attack will be stronger. Prepare yourself, Moron! You've taken so much from me, my dearest things! Even if you are my dad, I'll never forgive you! Watch your tongue! Everyone, I'm going to bring Pop back. Exactly as I feared. At this rate, Dai doesn't stand a chance. What do you mean? Up until now, Baran has been holding back his full strength to protect Dai. Even with us, he probably held back because we used to be allies. But now, he's a Dragonoid. A vicious demon beast. If he's provoked enough, he'll kill anyone, no matter who they are. Even if it means his own child. Run away, along with this kingdom! That's Doru Aura? I get it. 
Doru Aura compresses massive amounts of the Draconic Aura and fires it as a spell. Watch out! Die! Move it! <sighs> nice try! Doru Aura! I see. You dodged with a zoom spell. You have good instincts. But I will not miss again. Love is zoom! But die! You can't be Baran in the air! He, he has wings! It's because of us. If Baran fires that kind of spell down here, will all be reduced to ash. That's why Dai changed the battlefield. <laughs> it seems like you've given up. Let's end this. What do you think you're doing? I'm not giving up. Even you can't cast a spell that strong more than twice. So if I can take one more, then I'll win! You fool. No being can withstand a Dragon Knight's Doru aura at full power. It's never been used on another Dragon Knight, but it's a risk I'm willing to take! Save your nonsense, boy! Now away with you! Dororora! Dragon within! Time to awaken! Focus everything I have to defeat him! Draconic Aura! <laughs> now there's nothing left. <laughs> he blocked it! The ultimate spell! Moron! You've got nothing left now! Cast such a powerful spell, but if I don't succeed, then Pop will. Gods bless us in thy name. Let the soul of this one whose life is burned out be hereby restored. Zing! You mock me? I'll turn you to ash.
Isn't it a pity? When a Dragon Knight fights with Draconic Ore at full strength, normal weapons and armor can't endure the power and burn out. In your case, you've focused all your aura into your right arm. No weapon in the world can survive such an immense force. Except for this. This is my Demon Dragon Blade. And the only sword in the world that can endure a draconic aura. So you see, only a blade like this can withstand a Dragon Knight's fully powered swing. I may not have the magic power for Doru Aura, but victory is in sight. <laughs> now, see for yourself! Crocodile, let's go. <clears throat> now. Jungle. <clears throat> Dai needs help. I have a plan. Crocodile, do you think you have enough strength left to throw me all the way up there? Right. Attacks won't. Hey, uncle! There, Dai. Try using that! It's not as strong as Baron's, but it's still a legendary Dark Blade! How clever. But no one can trick the great Baron. <sighs> Curse you! Finish it quickly. Not even the Dark Armor Blade can endure your power for long. All right, this will work. I can feel it the moment our blades crossed. That weapon isn't nearly as strong as my Demon Dragon Blade. I'll shatter it in a single blow. Using my ultimate attack, Giga Break! What? Even I can only imagine what destructive power it might have when used in this Dragonoid form. Prepare to be obliterated! I don't think you have the energy left for it! <laughs> the spell you just used was... Zapple! <sighs> you don't have enough magic power left to cast anything else. And without that... We're sure to win! Apple? With all my power, Master of Bond's attack, Yoko's blade, finally, with all my memories that Pop restored and the strength that they give me, you won't stand a chance! Silence! So, what happened to me? Did I die back there? Well, obviously, I used Magante. That means, where's Baron? He's not here. So, if this is the afterlife, did he go to a different one or something? Pop! Pop! Who's that? 
you're Gomachan! Huh, what do you know? Gomachan's talking. I guess anything's possible in this place. Wait, does that mean you're dead as well? Pop! Don't go that way! You'll enter the land of the dead and there's no going back once you've gone in there! Huh, well, now that you mention it, my feet keep moving and I can't stop them. Get a grip, dummy! You're not actually gonna just give up and die, are you? We've come all this way together, haven't we? And if you do die, then I... I... Hey, I'm sorry, Gomachan, but it's over for me now. Honestly, it's a miracle I survived this long. My strength could only take me so far. truly are still a child. Falling for that? You don't have my years of experience in battle. This is the end! Stupid pop, you weakling! What? You haven't even managed to avenge Master Yvonne, and now you're just giving up? You're pathetic! I hate you, pop! Why, you little... I'm not letting a little crybaby like you call me pathetic, all right? You hear me? I tried as hard as I could! You liar! <sighs> Dai's out there and he's all alone in that fight! And you! You're abandoning him! That's pathetic! You're a coward! Watch your mouth, you stupid slime! I... I may be dead, but I'll... I'll... I will never abandon die! Fall to my Giga Break! the spell! His crest is on his fist? flinched for a second from Pop's surprise attack. That meant Dai's strash was slightly faster, so he avoided taking a direct hit from Baron. Dai, are you all right? Yeah, and it's all thanks to you guys. I owe you. The blade disintegrated! Its blade and hilt have been reduced to dust. Even with its magical properties, it can never be restored. So the Dark Blade is no more. Hyunkle, I'm sorry. 
Don't be sorry. Your life is more valuable. Thanks, Yonkel. Huh? Wait a sec, where's Pop? Yes, he should be alright as well. He is the one who saved you, after all. No, he's... It's too late. I can't race him. That's impossible! I mean, he just... I really don't... don't understand why that happened. But still, my Zing spell just wouldn't work on him. No, it can't be true! Please, open your eyes! Pop! Don't try to bluff. I can tell you don't have an ounce of strength left. Neither of us do. His heart has definitely stopped. So then, how? Did the emotional bond to his comrades really cause something so powerful to stir inside of him? Is such a miracle possible? How ironic. The power of dragons, magic of darklings, and the heart of a human. Of all three gifts bestowed upon a dragon knight, for the human heart, the one I thought was worthless. For it to deal me such a crushing blow. What are you doing? Dino, I have nothing left to say. Follow the path that you believe is the right one. However, this world won't hold two Dragon Knights. Once my blade is restored and my wounds have healed, then we shall settle this. You'll return to the Dark Army? No longer will I fight for their cause. If you are able to defeat me, Go and destroy them for the sake of your kind. But if I defeat you instead, then I will wipe out all of humanity. How can you still say that? It's too late to change my ways. I've lived too long like this. Stubborn old man! Say what you will. This is the first and last time I offer a gift to an enemy. Dino, no, die. You've been warned. Did he just revive Pop with the power of the Dragon Knight? <sighs> Baran has reconnected to his human heart. That's why, to atone for his sins, he wants his own son to finish him. He truly is tragically powerful, but forever alone. Outcome! Baron survived, and Dai's powers have become even stronger! At this rate, I'll... I'll... Commander Hadlar, King Vern summons you. Hadlar, raise your head. 
I beg for forgiveness, King Vern. As his superior, Baron's failure is my responsibility. When he returns, I shall make sure- Enough! Baron will likely never return. Considering his past behavior, I doubt he'll do anything unless it involves the boy. The real failure, and your crime, was hiding Dai's Dragon Knight lineage from even me. This mess is a result of your petty little games. Baran is the only being in the world who has the power to resist me. Convincing him to become an ally of mine was not an easy task. I am a tolerant man. I will forgive up to three failures. First, you've cost us the Romos and Papnica kingdoms, and allowed two of our Legion commanders to join the other side. Then on Valja Island, despite leading an entire army, you failed to kill the boy. And now, this incident with Baran. However, I have not forgotten that it was you who defeated the hero, Avon. <gasps> Hadlar, this is your last chance. When you next appear before me, if you still haven't wiped out Dai and his bothersome allies, my patience will run out. Do you understand me? Y yes I shall stake my life upon it, my king! Very well. Be gone. Shouldn't we just kill him, sire? I have given him the ultimate body. If he cannot win, then the weakness is in his mind. Driven to desperation, he may actually prove his worth. We can kill him any time. So, let us sit back and enjoy the final charge of the Hadlar Legion. Zabora, I want you to summon the Mystic Legion immediately! I'll call upon my elite guards. We'll gather all of our remaining forces and launch a mass offensive! The boy and his pathetic allies will not survive! You wait just a minute, Lord Hadlar! That plan has already failed us one time before! Dai's party will not be defeated by numbers alone, understand? If their power truly rivals that of Dragon Master General Baran, a carefully planned assassination is our best option right now. Assassination? Have you forgotten Dark King Vern's wrath? This is hardly the time to be picky about how you get the job done. Fine. I will leave it to you. After Baron's assault, Dai and the others got some rest in Merla's cottage. Pop insisted on standing guard against further attacks, stating he was in much better shape than the rest of them. However, this was only a ruse to convince them to rest. In truth, Pop hadn't fully healed either. Even so, he patrolled the area, wanting to be of use to everyone. Suddenly, he ran into Ma'am, who was supposed to be out training. Excited to see her again, he asked her how her training went. She replied that she put it on hold out of concern for everyone else. In truth, it wasn't Ma'am, but Zabora in disguise. A sweet fragrance enveloped the area, making Pop feel woozy. After Zabora stabbed him with his claws, Pop fell over, paralyzed. Zabora's dark incense put Hyunkle and the others into a deep sleep. Once Hadlar reappeared, Pop found himself in grave danger. 
As a last resort, Pop berated Hadlar for stooping to such cowardly tactics. After all, even Crocodile realized in the end that there are some things more important in life than mere victory or defeat. Hadlar was at a loss for words, but Zabora declared that there was no use in quibbling and moved to finish Pop off himself. You'd perish eventually if I left you alone. But a few more pricks, and I'm sure you'll die. <laughs> Time to die! <laughs> Get your filthy little paws off of him! Ah! Mentor! Matarev! You moron! You let them deceive you! You need to work harder on your perception! Never forget this. The mage must always be the most focused and level-headed member of their party. Everybody else is allowed to get worked up, but you need to stay cool as ice and understand the situation. At least that was what I did when working with Avan. Now I recognize you. You sided with Avan and his resistance. They said that you were the most powerful grand sorcerer among the humans. Yeah, and I see you're still a third-rate Dark Lord. You just won't give up. So now I have to play cleanup. On top of that, you killed one of my only friends. Broca, Avan, all the good ones are gone, and crooks like you and me just keep getting away with it. What an ugly world this is. So here's the deal. I'm sending you to the afterlife so you can apologize to the hero Avan. Stupid old man, you'll see. Just one spell and you'll be ashes! Sizzle! Sizzle! Squelch! He's not healing right away. That poison must be incredibly powerful. Two spells at once? Now let's see! How about this? Cousins! Can a mere human conjure a cassis spell? That should be impossible! Did you really think you were the only one who could? Get over yourself! Zabora! Quit rolling around on the ground! Hurry up and help me! <laughs> You'll regret ever going against us! This is for my arm! Sizzle! Uh, mentor! Now you see what we Darklings are truly capable of! <laughs> <laughs> No! My mentor is in danger! At this rate, everyone in the cabin will die too! No! Come on, you guys! Please, wake up! Crocodile! Yunkle! Leona! Die! Die!
He focused all his power into his fist and reflected their sizzle spells with one of his own. Even I can't do that. Guy, are you okay? <laughs> yeah. You did it! Hadlar's gonna be done for sure, right? I don't know about that. He is getting stronger. I'm sorry. Once again, you're the one saving me. But, uh, you know, I appreciated what you said about us. You know we've always got your back too, right? What happened? Huh? This... this is... How did we sleep through an explosion this size? Zabora and Hadlar were just here. <laughs> Thank the gods for zoom spells! Those filthy little brats! I doubt that Hadlar survived the blast as well. After all the help I gave him, he's still useless. Now I'll have to seek favor with Mistvern. Ah! Lord Hadlar! Zabora, you can't betray me! Like it or not, you and I are in the same boat. If you try latching on to someone else, I'll destroy you! You think I won't? I see every move you make, my friend. Even all your research on the history of superior beings. I think it's time for you to share your efforts with me. The disciples of Avan are growing stronger every day, much too fast. This body King Vern gifted me isn't enough to keep up. I need even greater power, power like that Dragonoid Baron! My strength must be greater than anything they've ever seen! The entire world will tremble! I see. That explains the crest on your hand. Impressive power. I'm alive because of you. We're sorry. We fell into a trap cast by Zabora of all people. You shouldn't blame yourselves. If anything, I blame the one who let his silly emotions cloud his judgment. I can't believe that Hadlar went along with one of Zabora's schemes. He's always preferred the brute force approach. He realized he's outmatched. Now that he's learned the hero is the son of the legendary Dragon Knight, he's starting to get desperate. Hey, Mentor, you knew something was different about Dai, didn't you? Don't you think you should have shared that information a little earlier? Also, you really took your precious time showing up, didn't you? I knew that learning the prophecy of the Dragon Knight would be a great burden to you, Dai. There's nothing I can do to help with that. I only know one person who could, so I dug this up. What, some dirty old book? Uh, this mark, I is it? Right, this is the legendary Book of Avan. Avan the hero recorded all of his skills, spells, and the theories behind them for future generations. It's handwritten. It contains his entire legacy. In all of our training, Master never mentioned this before. Is that what you went looking for then? I found it in the library of Karl, his homeland. I figured that perhaps you would make better use of it. Check the passage on air-based skills, page 192. It has three parts. The Book of Earth is about combat, while sea is about the auras. And the Book of Air is all about the soul. Uh, to the... and... <clears throat> Leona, could you? I can't read very well. To the wounded and lost, defeat is not to fall from your wounds. It is when you lose yourself after you have fallen. Be strong of heart. Calmly consider your goals and the limits of your abilities. 
for we are all limited in what we can do when each of us does the best that we can. Even when we are on the very edge of despair, the path to victory will reveal itself and shine brightly before you. It's like Master is right here, in the room. He always said it best, didn't he? Anyways, I thought you might be interested. Just take good care of it, okay? Thank you so much, Matteriv. The limits of our abilities, huh? Let's return to Papnica. I want to do the very best that I can. Something that benefits the world in a way that fighting it's yet to achieve. Something that only I can do.